such a beautiful day today. It is a great day for a joy ride in the countryside. I think that's actually what I might end up doing. But um, yeah, new hair, new car. Figured I would take you on a little tour of my brand new, well, it's actually not brand new, it's a 2020. Also my nose itches, I'm not picking my nose, I swear. But I just thought I would give you guys a little tour of my new Porsche Taycan 4S. Last October, November, I was given the opportunity to test drive the car for an entire weekend and I really fell in love with it. It's an amazing car. I honestly never thought I would have a car like this. Even when I got my Panamera, which is what I traded in for the Taycan, I never thought that I would ever get to a point in life where I would own a car like that. So like to just, to even have had the Panamera to me was insane. And to now have this, I'm like, it is pretty crazy, but I feel very lucky. Also, I'm sorry that I'm not like looking at the screen right now. It's really bright outside and my eyes hurt. I have very light colored eyes and they're very sensitive to sunlight. So <laughs> I can't even open my eyes all the way. It's so damn bright outside. Okay, this is a little bit better. So anyway, um, I'm friends with a finance manager at Porsche and he told me that they had a red one available. He sent me the listing for it and I was looking at it and it only had like 300 miles on it, although it was used and it's in carmine red and it's fully loaded. And I asked him if it was possible to trade the Panamera in and get this car for not much more money monthly. And yeah, they were able to do it. It all ended up working out and now it is in my garage waiting to be toured so i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the car show you what it looks like try to explain some of the features but i'm gonna try to keep this as condensed and as quick as possible and yeah like hopefully no more car purchases for a while because i feel like at this point it is just getting very very ridiculous also you know shameless self-promotion i want to tell you guys a little bit about a new project that i'm working on i have a brand new not safe for work 18 and up cryptocurrency only fans it's basically a mashup of a crypto course that's gonna teach you the basics of investing and cryptocurrency, what it's about, how it works. And then it's also a blend of my 18 and up sexy naked photos. So it's like infotainment. You can get some information, learn something new, but then you can also see really sexy images of me. And right now I do have a promotion going on. Everybody who joins gets a 10 minute x-rated video of me go check it out i will link that down below as well as my other only fans which also has a promotion running it's three dollars all month long so go check that out as well i will see you guys at the end of this video so this is my third garage it's over on the other end of my house look at that s and m my initials but also something I like to dabble in. I'm just kidding. I thought this would be a great location to put my charging station. It's in my basement. My basement's disgusting. I'm working on that. Here we have the charging port, which is all fancy and has the Porsche logo on it. I really want to finish this basement and make it look nice, paint the walls, maybe put like a Porsche sign. But yeah, let me pull this out of the garage and show you guys what it looks like. But before I do that, let me go over here and unplug it. And then it just goes back in here. Oh my God, how is it already messy? Close that. How embarrassing. <laughs> And then there's also a trunk in the front, which I've actually never opened. So we're gonna see what's up with that. I don't know how to open this. All right, let's close that back up. Oopsies. All right, and that is the outside of the car and let's go on inside. What the fuck? Get out of there. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, that's the biggest spider I've ever fucking seen in my life. <gasps> what? I'm so scared. That looks poisonous as fuck. Oh my god. Get out of my car. Oh my god. No. So, I feel really bad about that, but that was a really gross spider and I killed it with my phone. Wow. Off to a great start. So, uh, there's a 
another bug. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm like really distressed right now. <laughs> oh no. Panic, I dropped my key. Okay. I'm back on the other end of my house. There are the remnants of the dead spider. We got a better view here anyway. First thing right off the bat, you'll see that you have this huge screen right here, which you can customize. There's different view modes. So you could do like a reduced map. You could do, I don't know, that. I just like the way it looks with this better. You've got a cool map here. I don't really use this. I just think it looks cool. So a full charge on this car has 300 miles. Right now it's at 212. I think I accidentally set it to charge only to 85%. Why I did that is really beyond me. We have a touch screen over here. We have a touch screen there. We have a touch screen there for the passenger. We've got some cup holders. Over here in the center console, you have a wireless charging station. You have some USB ports and that is pretty much the gist of it. One of my favorite random features on the car is actually in comfort mode. If you go into driver's seat or passenger seat, you can set a massage program. So you can get a massage while you're driving. You can change the intensity, the type of massage that you get. And here you can change ambient lighting. I have it set to red because I want everything to match. Cool, all this stuff. Ooh electric sport sound i have not used this what is that let's see what that sounds like what that's such a strange noise oh i kind of like that though oh yeah and so also when you put it into reverse you have a bird's eye view you have this view but then you can also change it by clicking this button Put it back into park uh, here you have the off switch you just press down on that if you want to turn the car off over here you can adjust the temperature controls but you can do that from this screen as well but i just prefer to do it here and i like that it's kind of like a touch screen that clicks down so you feel the sensation of a button then you also have this really amazing panoramic moonroof kind of reminds me of what teslas have and then there's a lot of room for seating in the back. Let's go to the back because I feel like I have not been there yet and I want to see what it looks like. All right, going into the back of the car has these cool controls. Oh wow, it's so pretty back here. <laughs> I actually love it back here. car i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of the car in the comments below can you guys believe that i actually got a car that's not white shocking that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much make sure to check out my cryptocurrency course that will be linked down below all of my social media stuff will be linked down below this is my instagram follow me on there for the latest updates on my life and thank you again i'll see you guys in my next video